China's retail sector has been among the hardest hit by the coronavirus pandemic, as most people have stayed at home. But as China gradually contains the virus, most businesses have reopened. Global market research consultant Nielsen says that despite the losses due to the virus and quarantine measures, it's optimistic about the outlook. So we interviewed over 10,000 retailers in the last couple of weeks, and the good news is there is a high level of optimism. About half of them were feeling very optimistic about the future. And I think a lot of that is driven by a belief that consumers will rebound. The reality also is that you know, with with the virus overseas, uh, most Chinese consumers will choose to stay here in China. So we should see a boost in domestic consumption. Meanwhile, businesses are actively adapting to the changes caused by the pandemic in innovative ways. I think the other thing that's interesting is that retailers have clearly learned from this experience. You know, from this survey, about two thirds of them said that they would be um, actually investing more in online channels and applications um, for their consumer base. Um, over 50% said that they would adjust their product mix more towards health and safety type items for families, which they think will continue to be in demand. And over 40% will work on their supply chains. So it, it has been a crisis and a very challenging time. But most retailers are looking at how do they turn that crisis into an opportunity. Consulting group BCG shared some advice with retailers on how to safely resume business. Firstly, manage their costs. See where you need to keep the stores open to meet the demand and where you should close the stores. We do also see many retail players actively reach out to their landlords to negotiate the rent so they can get through these hard times together. Meanwhile, operating stores safely is a top priority. The second thing you do is to protect your employees. Um, very importantly is to secure the supplies, you know, masks, hand sanitizers, all these precautions suppliers to your employees. And also use digital or online tools to communicate the latest policy with your employees on a daily manner, sometimes probably even on an hourly manner. Guanxin, CGTN.